Imagine losing weight while still enjoying butter, cream, and bacon. Sounds too good to be true, right? But that's the promise of the ketogenic or keto diet, a trend that's taken the weight loss world by storm. In recent years, the keto diet has skyrocketed in popularity, becoming one of the most talked about methods for shedding those stubborn pounds. Hollywood celebrities, fitness influencers, and everyday people alike have openly endorsed this high-fat, low-carb diet, sharing their success stories and mouth-watering meal plans across social media. The premise is simple. By drastically reducing your carbohydrate intake and replacing it with high-fat foods, your body enters a metabolic state known as ketosis. In this state your body becomes incredibly efficient at burning fat for energy. As a result, the theory goes, you can lose weight faster than with traditional low-fat diets. But it's not just about the speed. The keto diet also promises a way to lose weight without feeling constantly hungry or deprived. Imagine being able to savor a rich, creamy buttered steak or a crispy, salty strip of bacon while still staying on track with your weight loss goals. It's this tantalizing promise of indulgent, satisfying meals that has made keto such a sensation. Yet for all the buzz and excitement, there's also a fair amount of skepticism. Detractors argue that the diet is too restrictive, unsustainable in the long run, and potentially harmful to your health. They question whether the weight loss results are truly due to the diet itself, or simply the result of consuming fewer calories overall. Furthermore, the keto diet's focus on high-fat foods raises concerns about its impact on heart health. Critics point to the high levels of saturated fats in many keto-approved foods and warn of potential increases in cholesterol levels and other heart disease risks. In the face of all these conflicting views, it's easy to feel confused and overwhelmed. Is the keto diet a revolutionary weight loss solution, or is it just another diet fad destined to fade away? But, the question is, can the keto diet really help you lose weight, or is it just another diet fad? We'll delve deeper into these questions as we explore the science, the personal experiences, and the practical strategies for making keto work for you. So stick around because this is a conversation worth having. To answer that question we need to delve into the science behind the keto diet. The ketogenic or keto diet is a low-carb, high-fat diet that has taken the world by storm. But what makes this diet so unique, and how can it potentially help you lose weight? At its core, the keto diet is about shifting your body's metabolic state from glycolysis, where it primarily burns carbohydrates for energy, to ketosis, where it burns fat. This is achieved by drastically reducing your intake of carbohydrates and increasing your intake of fats. When carbohydrate intake is low, your body depletes its glucose reserves and starts breaking down stored fat into molecules called ketones, which it uses for energy. This process, known as ketosis, is the cornerstone of the keto diet. By forcing the body to burn fat for fuel, it's thought that the keto diet can help you lose weight more efficiently. But how does this work? Well, when your body is in a state of ketosis, it's burning fat around the clock. This constant fat burning can lead to weight loss, especially in the initial stages of the diet. Additionally, because fat is more satiating than carbohydrates, you may find yourself eating less on a keto diet, which can further contribute to weight loss. But it's not just theory. A growing body of research supports the weight loss potential of the keto diet. For instance, a study published in the New England Journal of Medicine found that individuals on a keto diet lost more weight over a six-month period than those on a low-fat diet. Similarly, a systematic review and meta-analysis published in the British Journal of Nutrition showed that low-carb ketogenic diets were more effective for weight loss than low-fat diets in the short term. In addition to weight loss, some research suggests that the keto diet may have other health benefits, such as improving insulin sensitivity and reducing inflammation. However, it's important to note that more research is needed in these areas, and the long-term effects of the keto diet are still largely unknown. However, like all weight loss strategies, the keto diet isn't without its critics and potential downsides. Critics argue that the diet is hard to stick to, may lead to nutrient deficiencies, and could potentially increase your risk for heart disease due to its high fat content. Furthermore, while the diet may lead to initial weight loss, some people find it difficult to maintain this weight loss in the long term. In conclusion, the science suggests that the keto diet can lead to weight loss, at least in the short term. However, like any diet, its effectiveness will depend on your ability to stick to it and make it a sustainable part of your lifestyle. Therefore, it's important to approach the keto diet with a balanced perspective, taking into account both its potential benefits and limitations. Weight loss isn't a one-size-fits-all journey. 
Everyone's body responds differently to diets and the keto diet is no exception. When we talk about the ketogenic diet, it's important to remember that there isn't just one way to do keto. There are variations like the standard ketogenic diet which is a very low-carb, moderate-protein, high-fat plan, and the cyclical ketogenic diet where periods of higher-carb refeeds are incorporated like five ketogenic days followed by two high-carb days. These variations cater to different needs and lifestyles and can also impact your weight loss journey differently. Genetics plays a significant role in how our bodies respond to any diet, including keto. Some of us are genetically predisposed to metabolize fats more efficiently, while others might struggle. Similarly, certain health conditions such as polycystic ovary syndrome, diabetes, and metabolic syndrome can influence how effectively our bodies enter ketosis and utilize fats for energy. Your lifestyle choices matter too. A sedentary lifestyle might slow down your weight loss progress on keto, while incorporating regular physical activity can accelerate the fat-burning process. It's also crucial to remember that stress and lack of sleep can hinder weight loss, regardless of how strictly you follow the keto plan. When we talk about weight loss with the keto diet, it's important to set realistic expectations. Sure, some people may experience rapid weight loss in the initial weeks, but remember this is mainly due to water loss from drastically cutting down on carbs. As your body adjusts to the diet, weight loss tends to slow down but becomes more steady and sustainable. Patience and consistency are key here. The keto diet is not just about quick results, it's about making a long-term commitment to your health. And while it's exciting to see the numbers on the scale go down, it's equally important to focus on non-scale victories. Are you feeling more energetic? Are your clothes fitting better? Are your cravings under control? These are all signs that your body is responding positively to the diet. A word of caution. While the keto diet can be an effective tool for weight loss, it's not for everyone. Some may find the diet too restrictive, or may struggle with potential side effects like the keto flu. It's always advisable to consult with a healthcare professional before starting any new diet plan to ensure it's a healthy choice for you. So it's clear that while the keto diet can potentially help with weight loss, it's not a magic bullet. Your individual genetics, health conditions, lifestyle choices, and commitment to the diet will all influence your results. And remember, it's not just about losing weight quickly. It's about making sustainable changes to your eating habits and lifestyle that will benefit your health in the long run. If you've decided to give the keto diet a try, there are strategies to make it more effective and sustainable. Let's dive in. The first step to succeeding on keto is building a meal plan that works for you. It's not just about cutting carbs, but about fueling your body with nutrient-rich foods. Choose quality sources of fats like avocados, nuts, seeds, and olive oil. Incorporate a variety of low-carb vegetables to ensure you're getting a broad spectrum of vitamins and minerals. And don't forget about protein. Lean meats, fish, eggs, and tofu are all excellent choices. But what about those pesky carbs? Well, they're not entirely off the table. Focus on complex carbs from whole foods like berries, non-starchy vegetables, and nuts. These foods provide fiber which can help you feel full and support digestive health. Plus, they add color and variety to your meals, making your diet more enjoyable. Now let's talk about potential side effects. When you first start keto, you might experience fatigue, headaches, or what's often called the keto flu. This is your body adjusting to its new fuel source. To manage these symptoms, stay well hydrated, get plenty of sleep, and consider adding a bit more salt to your meals to replace electrolytes. And remember, these symptoms are usually temporary. If they persist or you're concerned, don't hesitate to seek advice from a healthcare professional. But keto isn't just about what you eat, it's about building a lifestyle that supports your health goals. This might mean finding ways to stay active that you enjoy, whether that's walking, dancing, lifting weights, or practicing yoga. It could also mean finding ways to manage stress like mindfulness, meditation, or simply taking time for yourself each day. The key is consistency. The keto diet isn't a quick fix, but a tool that can support weight loss when used consistently and as part of a balanced lifestyle. To make keto sustainable, it's important to find a balance that works for you. This might mean allowing yourself a bit more flexibility with your carb intake on special occasions, or finding keto-friendly alternatives to your favorite foods. Remember, it's not a failure if you have a day where you eat more carbs than planned. It's a journey, and each day is a new opportunity to make choices that support your health and happiness. Incorporating keto into your life might feel a bit daunting at first, but with planning, patience, and a bit of creativity, it can become a natural part of your routine. Remember, the goal is not just to lose weight, but to build healthy habits that last.
At the end of the day, the most important thing is to find a way of eating and living that makes you feel good, both physically and mentally. That's the true key to sustainable weight loss and overall health. While the keto diet can be a useful tool for weight loss, it's important to view it as part of a larger strategy. We often get caught up in the idea that one diet, one method, is the magic solution to all our weight-related woes. But the truth is, sustainable weight loss and more importantly, health, require more than just dietary changes. Sleep, for instance, plays a crucial role in weight management. Studies have shown that lack of sleep can disrupt our body's hunger hormones leading to increased appetite and potentially weight gain. So while you're focusing on your macronutrient intake, don't forget to also prioritize getting a good night's rest. Stress management is another important factor to consider. When we're stressed, our bodies produce a hormone called cortisol, which can prompt our bodies to store fat, especially in the abdominal area. Incorporating stress-reducing activities into your routine can be just as important as following your keto meal plan. This could be anything that helps you unwind and relax. It might be yoga, meditation, reading, or even just taking a leisurely walk in the park. Physical activity of course is a key part of any weight loss plan, but it's not just about burning calories. Regular exercise can help improve your insulin sensitivity, making your body more efficient at using the fuel you provide it. It can also help you build lean muscle, which can boost your metabolism and help you burn more calories, even when you're at rest. And remember, exercise doesn't have to mean hours spent in the gym. Find an activity you enjoy, whether it's dancing, hiking, gardening or playing a sport, and you'll be more likely to stick with it. Finally, let's not forget the importance of a balanced approach to health and weight loss. Yes, the keto diet can be a powerful tool for weight loss, but it's not a one-size-fits-all solution. It's important to listen to your body and make adjustments as needed. If you're feeling deprived or run down, it might be a sign that you need to add more variety to your diet, or perhaps even consider a less restrictive eating plan. And remember, health isn't just about the number on the scale. It's about feeling good, having energy, sleeping well, and being able to do the things you love. Any diet plan, including keto, should serve these broader goals. In the end, the best diet is the one you can stick to, that makes you feel good, and that helps you meet your health and weight loss goals. So, rather than getting caught up in the latest diet trend, focus on building sustainable habits that support your overall health and well-being. And always remember, your journey is uniquely yours. There's no one right way to achieve health and wellness, it's about finding what works best for you.